Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have a new trailer for Daryl Dixon Season 2. I'm super excited. Let's get into it and talk about it. So we're going to break this trailer down, but before we do, I want to let you know, if I sound a little different, it's because I had surgery and I still have stitches in my mouth. So yeah, let's get into this. We have Daryl walking with a guitar. Why does he have a guitar? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Um, it, I'm not sure where they are in this image, but we'll have to, I guess we'll just have to wait and see that the sign makes me think of like something like near a hotel, but I don't, I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Next we have Anna. Uh, she was the singer in season one in the kind of the underground complex where Quinn was the boss kind of like the crime boss of the area and I, I, Maybe she took over for him. I'm sure we'll see but she's talking to Daryl and she seems to think that Daryl had died And so she knows she's saying something to Daryl about dying and he, he says no, I'm not dead yet Okay, so the next image we have is Daryl and he's in this blood-covered car This makes me think of the image that we saw from Carol in the original teaser He's also wearing some brass knuckles, so he's been beating the heck out of somebody. Um, this, I can't wait to see what's taking place here. I really can't. And uh, so yeah, that's that's about all I can say for here. This, But this does really make me think of the image of Carol. So I wonder if they're here together in just different cars. So now we have this picture of Daryl talking to Isabel. And I can only imagine that this is at the nest because it looks like a castle. And if you look over her shoulder, it kind of looks like sand kind of like the ocean you know and the nest is surrounded by it's kind of i guess it's on an island like a little bit of an island in in the ocean maybe i guess but that's what that looks like to me so that's from what from what i've seen in the trailer it looks like there is an attack on the nest and they are like maybe walking around fortifying areas and seeing what needs to be um fortified Okay, so now we have Daryl. He's in a car. He has new wounds, bloody wounds. So he's been in, he's been through some he's been through something. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see what that is. But you know, Daryl always always looks like a badass. Just have to throw that in there. Then we have Daryl, Isabel, and I believe his name is Falu. And I think they're walking around the perimeter of the nest again. Maybe checking to see if things need to be fortified. Seeing where weaknesses are before this attack that they know is coming. Then we get some of Carol, like right here she's on Daryl's bike. This is probably pretty early, I would say almost episode one, maybe the first 10 minutes of episode one, where she is looking for Daryl and uh, she comes across the bike and we saw that and then she's going to go to, to that encampment that Daryl was last seen at and, and find out what has, has happened to Daryl. Again, we have Carol. This is another character that we don't know who he is, but I, I think he's a pilot because we hear them talking about a plane and I think they're opening up the hangar and looking at the plane here again. I would think this is probably first episode, maybe after first commercial break. If this spinoff is like the others, uh, I would think he probably doesn't live after they get to France. And this looks to be like when Carol and the pilot are taking off. Maybe something happens outside the plane and Carol has to get out, but she's knocking this walker into the propeller and making uh, walker stew. Okay, so then we have this plane that they're in. They're on their way to France, but I don't know if a plane this size could even make it to France. I mean, could it? I wouldn't think so. But this also, may, also has me thinking that maybe when, when Carol said they came back, she wasn't talking about Rick because if Rick and Michonne had come back and, and Carol knew that, why would she try to fly across the ocean in a little plane like this when she could get, you know, one of the big CRM helicopters. You know, Rick would go with her. He would go find his brother. Then we have Daryl with Laurent and and in, a, in, a, in a, the next image with Isabel, and they're talking about maybe the three of them going to the United States, which, I mean, I think it's gonna happen anyway. Then we have Daryl with a bow, people scared. I'm thinking this is probably the attack that they knew was coming on the, on the nest. And then we have this character, I think his name is Stefan, and he's shooting at someone. But notice, that's the plane in the background. So does he come across Carol before Carol finds Daryl? Then we have what looks like Daryl being captured at the nest. Were they double-crossed by the leader of the nest? I, I think that's a possibility, I really do. And then we get Daryl being beaten, and we get Madame Janae telling Daryl that he doesn't have a future. Don't plan for it. But she doesn't know Daryl. 
So then we have Carol, an unnamed pilot guy yet. It looks like they have landed maybe in France. And then they get attacked by walkers that come out of the ground. And I would bet pilot guy dies right here. And then we get some new, I guess this is new variants. They kind of remind me of the 28 Days Later um, zombies. Then we get, I'm pretty sure his name is Stefan or Stefan. And he is, man, he is, he looks rough. He's been beaten down bad. His, I think his eye's gone. I mean, look at him. I feel bad for this character because he did have a good turnaround in season one. But I think this could be his death right here. Because we also see a lot of the, I think it's the variant zombies that we just saw in the last picture. And I think they're running at him and maybe even running past him after they kill him. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So now we have this character, another character. We don't know his name. We don't know his story. But he seems to be wherever Madame Janae has Daryl captured. And there's an attack with with variant walkers. And he has the key. And uh, he, I think he's going to let Daryl out. So now we have Daryl. He's free. He's swinging his mace around. He's beating the crap out of Madame Janae's people and walkers. So yeah, we'll have to see this. But this looks like I'm really hyped for this scene. Now we have Carol. She has Daryl's crossbow. I think the pilot is dead at this point. Uh, is she near Paris, maybe? I think she's tracking Daryl down. So now we get another variant walker. It's glowing. The eyes are glowing. Maybe they're under ta the town. Maybe they're in a tunnel. I don't know. Uh, I really cannot wait to see what the deal is with this variant walker. Then we have Madame Janae, wounded, looking like she enjoys it, maybe. This looks to be after, I think we saw this in the first look or the teaser. This is when they're they're on a, in a convoy and Daryl and the people, some of the people that he's with uh, attack them, blow up the, some of the cars and flip the cars. And Daryl is, uh, has a gun on her right here. Now we have this image of Carol outside of a building. The door is slightly open. I think that's Daryl. I think this is when they find each other. This is such a throwback to when Sophia died. Carol looks, you know, she's going to be scared. She's going to have PTSD from that. She's going to think that Daryl's going to come out a zombie, a walker, and they're going to find each other. This is, to me, is when they find each other. Then we get this image of Daryl, and Carol comes walking up slightly blurred. That's the last thing we see. Man, I can't wait for this. I'm so hyped for the show. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, seeing my breakdown of the trailer. Thanks for putting up with my hair. I mean, I feel like I sound like Sylvester the Cat with all the stitches and swelling in my face. But yeah. I look forward to this. I look forward to breaking more stuff down just like we did with The Ones Who Live. And uh, come join me for this ride. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have less than a month. It's, it's this month, the 29th. Let me know what you're most excited for. What, what, what are you excited about after watching the trailer? And uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.